Hello, Hello junior, junior high. high! Today is Wednesday, September 18th. Welcome to this episode of Daily Video Announcements. I'm Nick. I'm Erin. Here on the announcement, we're so excited to be here today on today's announcements. Now let's please stand and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Now over to our clubs and activity announcements. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. You all look terrific in your Olympic rings wear. Hello, I'm Casey, the red ring. And I'm Avi, the blue ring. And we're here with your clubs and activities announcements. Soar, Sycamore Junior High. Be safe, responsible, respectful, and a problem solver, and get ready for Arm Wrestle Wednesday. Be... Oh. Okay. Three, two, one. Go! Beach Bash News. Wow. We are really close to our $30,000 goal. We've raised over $27,000. And the following students, in no order, are the top three fundraisers. Ariana L, Scarlett C, Kelsey W, Maddie L, Kashavi P, Victoria M, and Henry S. The top prize winner will win a $300 gift card, second place will win a $200 gift card, and third place will win a $100 gift card. And better yet, the gift cards will come from a place of their choosing, like Amazon, Target, Dick's, or GameStop. Way to go, Waves! Again, all you have to do for a chance to win is go to this site and register to get some donations. Okay, all students, remember to check your emails every single day. Ask if you need help. Be responsible to be informed. Check for emails from our counselors, our staff, our, the other schools, our district mailings, and more. Check your PBIS reward points and how close are you to earning a reward. This is Spirit Week. Make sure to plan the rest of your week. The Spirit Day for tomorrow is Jersey Thursday. Wear your favorite jersey from any sport or any team. And Friday is Game, Game Day. Day. Make sure to wear your green and gold to support the A's. This Friday, September 20th, is our Beach Bash Day. Here's a glimpse of our special schedule for the day. Basically, we go through bells 1 through 4, Bell 6 and 7 before 11 a.m. And then go to 5th bell for our normal lunch bell, then to our flex bell to experience our beach bash fun. Okay, what is beach bash this year? We are going to have the opportunity to experience the following activities. Framed throw games. We Test your aim and coordinations with games like swing ring, froggy fly, fling, and cow pie, along with two more exciting games. We also have giant inflatable games. Get ready for oversized fun with inflatable cornhole, ski ball, ring toss, snowball throw, and a giant dart board. We also have giant floor games. Classic games on a grand scale. Enjoy Connect Four, tic tac toe mats, inflatable bowling, and, and mobile tic tac toe. Wow, look at this! We got outdoor games! Take part in outdoor activities like cornhole, golf putting, beach toss, catch with velcro balls, and tug of war! I think I'm gonna beat you. Inflatable lingo. Show off your limbo skills at the DJ area. I just can't wait. This is gonna be so much fun. I know, I'm so excited. And now a message from our media center. Now that we are in the routine of our school year, we will be increasing the enforcement of our, of our Chromebook Charger Loaner Borrowing Policy, monitored through the Media Center. If students need a device or charger, they're always welcome to stop by the Media Center and get help from Mr. Kurz. In most cases, loaners and chargers should be returned at the end of each day. In the event items are not returned, both students and e parents will receive an email as a reminder. If the items are not returned after three days, then it may result in a disciplinary consequence, starting with a lunch detention. 
If you need an item for longer than three days, please speak with Mr. Kurz so he's able to make a note of when you believe that item can be returned. If a student has an item that needs to be returned, please do that immediately. Or if you have any questions, please contact Mr. Kurz in our media center at kurzv at sycamoreschools.org. Math Club! Are you interested in joining Math Club this year? We compete, in, we compete in local and national competitions with other school teams. The first meeting is today after school in Mr. Miles' room, 2204. Meetings will be each Wednesday after school. No need to sign up in advance, just show up. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Miles at milesj at sycamoreschools.org. The Yearbook Club. The next yearbook club meeting will be tomorrow, Thursday, September 19th, during Flex and Miss Spielman's art room, room 2155. This will be a photo workshop. Grab a Flex Pass for the meeting in room 2155. Yearbook club is still accepting new members. Email Miss Spielman if you're interested in joining or just attend Thursday's meeting. Spirit Row orders will also be due on September 19th. If you need an order form, stop by Ms. Spielman's classroom. We hope to see you there. We have special guests in our studio with Principal Shunk today to share some safety guidelines for our high school football games this year. Welcome high, Welcome high school principal Porter and athletic director Mr. Overton. Hey Sycamore Junior High, how are you guys? I have two amazing visitors here with us today. This is Mr. Porter, he is our high school principal. This is Mr. Ovington. He is our high school athletic director, and they are going to share with us some expectations for our Friday night football games. Hello, Sycamore Junior High. As Ms. Shunk just said, I'm Taylor Porter, high school principal, and I want to come and invite you all to join us Friday night. This week is homecoming, so we expect a really big audience as we take on Cole Rain. A couple of things we'd like to remind you of as you join us at the stadium. Uh, be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and be a problem solver. And one of the really important roles that we have in place to help make sure everybody is safe is as you come into the stadium and walk through the gate, every student that's younger than high school age, which would be all of you, junior high scholars, you must be accompanied by an adult. Okay, so we will not let you through the gate if you don't have an adult with you. And that's just to make sure we keep our stadium atmosphere as safe as possible for each and every one of you. Thank you. Additionally, we've really enjoyed seeing so many of you at our first couple home games and really appreciate your support of Sycamore Athletics. A um, couple other things, just to make sure we're not congregating underneath the home bleachers. You should be outside of those areas, not congregating there. Um, additionally, we should be staying on our side of the stadium, so there should not be any of our students going to the visitor sides, um, fans or whatever that might be, so we should stay on the Sycamore side for the duration of the game. And don't forget, be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and be a problem solver. And let's show the high school who Sycamore Junior High is. Go Aves! Go Aves! Go Aves. Thanks, crew! National, National Day. Day! Today is National Cheeseburger Day. There are many theories to the beginning of the cheeseburger dating back to the 1920s. One story suggests that Lionel Steinberger invi invented the cheeseburger in 1926 while working at his father's Pasadena, California's sandwich shop. The right spot. During an experiment, he dropped a slice of American cheese on a sizzling hamburger. Like numerous iconic foods, many people and restaurants claim the origin story. For example, a restaurant in Los Angeles called Odell's placed the cheeseburger on their menu in 1928. It came smothered with chili, all for the price of a quarter. Kalen's restaurant in Louisville, Kentucky claims they invented the cheeseburger in 1934. One record that gives the Humpty Dumpty Drive-In in Denver, Colorado bragging rights is the trademark they received in 1935 for the same name, Cheeseburger. Another who applied for the trademark of that name was Gus Belt, the founder of Steak and Shake. Sometime in the 1930s, he also applied for the trademark. Despite all these claims, a couple of things are for sure. The cheeseburger checks all the marks for satisfying a craving, and the cheeseburger isn't going anywhere. How to observe National Cheeseburger Day. Grill up or fry up your favorite cheeseburger. You don't even have to cook. Visit your favorite burger joint and order up a delicious cheeseburger. With all the options available, you're sure to find one that fits your taste. Next, Next up, up, birthdays. Happy birthday to all of those celebrating 
today, including Luke R. Dantes W. Joke of the day! Why did the student eat their homework? I don't know. Why? Because the teacher said it was a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> don't you agree, Bob? That was so funny. Be your best extraordinary person that you can be. Can you, that you can be, Sigma. Follow PBIS expectations every day. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go Aids!